having seen the evidence against weak form market efficiency, we're now going to go over the evidence against semi-strong form market efficiency. And you may wonder quite reasonably um, what the point of this is. If we've already sort of shown evidence against weak form market efficiency, then if the market is not weak form efficient, it certainly can't be semi-strong or, or strong form efficient. However, it's still worthwhile to have a look at these sort of market anomalies and see ways in which we can actually make abnormal profits. And if by some chance you're not convinced by the arguments against weak form market efficiency, you can at least see why the case for semi-strong form market efficiency is not very good. So, Farmer and French in 1992 ran a regression to estimate the sensitivity of average portfolio returns to market capitalization, book to market ratio, and beta. Beta being, of course, what it's always been in the single index model. So they're making an assumption that the portfolio's average return is dependent on these three factors. So we can show the equation like this. We say that the average return on the portfolio is equal to just some constant A plus the sensitivity to the market capitalization times the market capitalization plus so on and so forth. And then you've got an error term at the